As with almost any famous tragic event, conspiracy theories have sprouted up regarding the shooting of John Lennon. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're examining 10 famous people allegedly killed by the Illuminati. It's important for people to understand that something this big can happen, and your government may not tell you the truth about it. For this list, we're looking at deceased celebrities whose deaths have been the subject of many conspiracy theories, some involving the supposed secret society. To be clear, the idea of a new world order and the existence of the Illuminati are nothing more than conspiracy theories and are not to be taken seriously. Had you heard about any of these theories? Let us know in the comments below. Kurt Cobain The death of Nirvana's frontman is mired in conspiracy theories. Kurt Cobain took his own life when he was 27 years old. And then this morning, his body found at home, another casualty of success. However, many have been accused of killing the historic artist and framing his death as an act of self-harm. In fact, journalists Ian Halperin and Max Wallace wrote a best-selling book called Who Killed Kurt Cobain, in which they posit that Cobain's wife, Courtney Love, was involved. But the theories go even deeper, and some of the most outrageous mention the Illuminati. Many others believe the lower four lines are are a completely different handwriting. What, so they were added by someone else, possibly Courtney, is that the suggestion? Yeah. According to these, Cobain was assassinated by the secret society, as he had supposedly exposed their machinations on the Nirvana album In Utero. Hey, XXX Tentacion. Billie Eilish and XXX Tentacion had a lot in common. They both emerged as artists in the 2010s. They both enjoyed popularity with Gen Z listeners. They both sang about difficult themes related to depression and anxiety. I'm sad to know ya. I'm sad to know ya. And according to one ridiculous theory, Eilish was responsible for XXX Tentacion's passing. 20 year old XXX Tentacion killed in an apparent robbery. The theory posits that she wanted into the Illuminati and was ordered to take him out as an act of recruitment. This, in turn, would have supposedly informed the lyrics in Eilish's Bury a Friend. The singer, for her part, has seemingly laughed off conspiracies linking her to the supposed secret society. Honestly, I thought that I would be dead by now. Jimi Hendrix Jimi Hendrix died of asphyxiation from vomiting while under the influence of substances on September 18, 1970. Nearly half a century later, his death is still shrouded in mystery. German figure skater Monica Deneman spent time with Hendrix during his final day, and she revealed that he had taken multiple prescription sleeping pills. Of course, conspiracy theorists came up with other ideas, claiming that Hendrix was killed by the American government, who are supposedly in cahoots with the Illuminati. You can pour liquid straight into the lungs, and it drowns the person. And this is, this is how they killed Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix's brother Leon reportedly mentioned him being under surveillance, likely due to his association with black power organizations, which some believe lends plausibility to this theory. It's discussed in the book Wild Thing, the short, spellbinding life of Jimi Hendrix, written by biographer Philip Norman, but of course, has not been proven. London's Metropolitan Police had investigated Jimi Hendrix's death, but never charged anyone with a crime. Princess Diana. A short while ago, Buckingham Palace confirmed the death of Diana, Princess of Wales. The violent passing of Princess Diana shocked the world, and roughly two and a half billion people watched her funeral. So much public interest was bound to result in a conspiracy theory or two. Many have been blamed for Princess Diana's death, from MI6 to the Illuminati. Those who subscribe to the Illuminati conspiracy theory believe the organization somehow has ties to all major world leaders and prominent public figures, and that includes the royal family. Believers think Diana was assassinated by them due to her public divorce from then Prince Charles. The letter alleged that a fellow special op soldier told his wife their unit orchestrated the princess's death and cover-up. Police investigated many conspiracy theories, but found them to be baseless. Most of the blame now lies on the paparazzi and the car's driver. You believe there was a conspiracy to Definitely kill Dodie? they been murdered. Marilyn Monroe. The epitome of the blonde bombshell, Marilyn Monroe saw extraordinary success throughout the 40s and 50s. However, she faced intense personal problems and passed away at age 36 under somewhat unknown circumstances. Marilyn Monroe was found dead in bed under circumstances that were in tragic contrast to her glamorous career as a comic talent. 
Monroe was found deceased on the morning of August 5, 1962. The deputy coroner ruled that her passing was from having taken too many substances, likely intentionally. In death, Monroe still captivates us as she did in life. But some people aren't convinced. Norman Mailer famously believed that the American government was responsible, as he expressed in his controversial book, Marilyn, A Biography. Wild theories of this nature have only proliferated throughout the years and have come to include the mafia and, of course, the Illuminati. This lack of concrete evidence helps breed speculation of conspiracy and murder. Whitney Houston one of the most legendary singers in history, Whitney Houston died at the age of 48 on February 11, 2012. So far, police and the coroner are refusing to offer details about what may have caused her tragic death. Houston was found at the Beverly Hilton that afternoon, and her passing was later ruled an accident. She was suffering from heart disease at the time and drowned while under the effects of illicit substances. Houston's mother, Sissy, reportedly spoke to her daughter and said nothing was out of the ordinary. One crazy conspiracy claims that the Illuminati was responsible for these substances being in her system in the first place. Proponents of the theory allege that this was a way to ensure the survival of Beyonce and Jay-Z's daughter, Blue Ivy Carter. Honestly, this one's so out there, we can't even make sense of it. Whitney Houston, simply put, had the greatest voice in the world. She was a gift from God. John Lennon, the first Beatle to die. John Lennon was killed on December 8, 1980. Former Beatle John Lennon is dead. He was shot a short time ago outside his Manhattan apartment building. The perpetrator was a man named Mark David Chapman. Chapman's motives were reportedly many, as he had long resented Lennon for his personality, way of living, and controversial statements. He wasn't the only person that Lennon had irritated, with the singer being targeted by the Immigration and Naturalization Service and the FBI a few years prior. They're after, they're after us because we, we talk spoken. about peace. According to the conspiracy theorists, these powers were tied to the Illuminati, who allegedly manipulated or controlled Chapman into doing their bidding. Chapman entered a guilty plea and, as of 2023, is still in prison. What do you make of all the conspiracy theories that have come up in the last 12 years? CIA, mind control, etc. Against the je death of John Lennon? Yeah. Uh, hogwash. Martin Luther King Jr. The world came to a standstill on April 4, 1968, when Martin Luther King Jr. was killed in Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Perhaps the most famous civil rights activist of the 20th century, King Jr. was a major public figure and a recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. His actions and influence made him a target of racists and the FBI, and the organization spied on the civil rights leader for years. If the FBI believed in early 1965 that their threat would intimidate Dr. King, they would soon find that they were mistaken. Given all this, his assassination has become the subject of numerous conspiracies, with even more insane theories involving the Illuminati. These stipulate that the society had him killed due to his condemnation of the Vietnam War, as many powerful people had financial ties to the conflict. What do you think happened? The government was very involved. John F. Kennedy. Speaking of assassinations, perhaps none is as notable as John F. Kennedy's. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. President Kennedy was murdered by a former Marine named Lee Harvey Oswald, who was acting on his own volition. However, Oswald insisted that he was a scapegoat before later being charged with Kennedy's death. But Oswald was killed just two days after his arrest. To this day, a large portion of Americans believe there is more to this story and that a cover-up or conspiracy of some sort is at play. There are lots of theories. It was Castro, the Mafia, the Soviets, the CIA, you name it. And yes, for some, that conspiracy includes the Illuminati. These theorists say that Kennedy was planning on exposing the Illuminati and their schemes, so he had to go. Other dead-end theories over the years include this Secret Service agent with a rifle in the motorcade slipped and shot the president, or that a gunman fired from the curb-level storm drain. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Michael Jackson 
The world lost Jackson on June 25, 2009. He had too much of a powerful anesthetic and other substances in his system and suffered a cardiac arrest. Both the Los Angeles Times and CBS News are both now reporting that Michael Jackson has died. Blame was placed on his personal physician, Conrad Murray, who administered the medications to assist Jackson in combating his insomnia. Murray was convicted of involuntary manslaughter and received a four-year prison sentence. Dr. Murray fled the hospital before we arrived, waited a couple days to get his story straight, and ultimately was uh, prosecuted for his conduct. But Jackson was paranoid in the period leading up to his death. He allegedly wrote in his diary that, quote, the system wanted to, quote, kill him for his music catalog. Therefore, some fans and conspiracy theorists took that to mean that he was taken out by the Illuminati for business reasons. Should it have been a second degree murder? Yeah, I think it could have been. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.